Hi guys, VST here, Valens Pistech. Welcome back on my channel, guys, for yet another video. 10 useful tips for you getting the most out of your Samsung Note 20 Ultra or Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, any Samsung phone running the latest One UI 3.0. But before we start, guys, I'm just going to clean this a bit for your viewing pleasure, you know, I always do so. The screen is now cleared. And guys, if you have been scoping the internet, right, searching and searching for tips, stop. You are at the right channel, right? By the way, 96% of you guys watching these videos apparently are not subscribed to the channel, which I think is a crime, it's a shame, and you guys can help me fix this. Please do so. You know what has to be done. And without any further ado, guys, I'm gonna start a video right now. So tip number one is to use the volume keys for media. Because by default, guys, when you hit here the volume rocker, you can see that you are actually controlling the ringtone. And that's so annoying, guys, right? So how can you change this and get here control to the media? Very easy, tap here on the three dots, go to the settings, and then here is boom, use volume keys for media. Once that's enabled, guys, you can already see that right now we are indeed controlling the media and the ringtone is actually placed at the second position. All right, guys, tip number two. When you start a phone for the first time, you see here that you just have a battery icon to see how much juice you have left. But hey, where are the percentages? Very easy, guys. You just need to scroll down here to the quick toggles, then hit here the three dots, then go to the status bar, and then you're gonna have something called show battery percentage. Once you enable that one, you're gonna have this nice percentage display and you always will know how much far away are you from the closest outlet. Tip number three, right? What happens when we go here and we see all these applications? And believe me, you can see here the dots, I have a plenty of applications, right? No order, right? They're really sorted the way I install them, so it's just a custom order. But hey, what about ordering this alphabetically? If you wanna do this, guys, you just hit here the three dots, then you click here sort, for I'm not sure what reason I have the custom order, but hey, click alphabetical order, and I think order and law is now restored. Yeah, we're gonna see we have all the applications starting with the A, with the B, with the C, perfect. Now tip number four, guys. See how much icons we have on the screen? Usually these phones come with bigger screens, but hey, there is a better way to manage this, so you just need to pinch out to zoom, go to settings, and you're gonna see something called home screen grid, and right now I'm using four by six, right? But hey, if you want to make the best use out of your screen, you can do five, six, right? And then see how much more icons I can bring on the screen, right? Just showing you. Tip number five. We have here something called the Samsung browser, guys. If you're not a big fan of that one, you can always change it to another browser. But every time you press the link, you're gonna get still this link opened by the Samsung browser. Why? Because you need to switch the default browser. How can we do this, guys? Just make sure you go into the settings, press the cogwheel, search here, for default apps, okay, choose default apps, okay. Click here, choose default apps, and then again, choose default apps, and here, guys, browser app, click on the browser app. I have Chrome, I have Epic, I have Samsung Internet, Total Pro, which I even don't know what it is. So, click here, Chrome, right? And now, every time you're gonna open the link, you're gonna get Chrome as your default browser. All right, since we are at these default things, let's do tip number six, Samsung keyboard. Not a lot of people like it, guys. If you wanna change it, you have to go again into the settings, look for something called general management, and then there is something called keyboard list and default. Default keyboard, right now I'm using the Microsoft Swift key, but hey, you can install also Google Gboard, or you can also use the Samsung keyboard, but if you wanna use another one, you can change it from here. All right, tip number seven, guys. See what happens when I do like this? I open again the boring app door. But hey, can we do something better with this? Yes. So. Pinch out to zoom, guys. Go here into the settings, and we're gonna see something called swipe down for notification panel. Select that one, return on home screen, and see. Now, every time you do like this, you're gonna get your notifications, right? But something is missing. Tip number eight is going to allow you some more control, the brightness. So just make sure that you go here again to these three dots. Go here, guys, to the quick panel layout, and then select show brightness control above notifications. Now, let me just show what happens. When I do like this, and I have all the notifications, the brightness control will always stay above. This is very, very easy and nice fix to get this. Tip number nine, probably the most annoying thing. What happens when we hit here the power button? We have Bixby. 
And although Bixby is great and the Bixby routines are really great, some people want to get back here to the power off button. How can you make this work? Just make sure that you go again here to the quick settings, hit the restart button, and then here, side key settings. Press the side key settings, and you can actually tweak the double press, open Bixby, or let's say quick launch camera, but then holding and pressing the button, guys, will get you the power off menu. I'm gonna demonstrate this right now. Double press will get me the camera. When I press and hold, hold and press, boom, power off menu. I mean, that's perfect, right? And last but not least, guys, tip number 10. A lot of people were not really happy when Samsung releases Samsung Daily and they would like to have here Google Home, but how can you delete that one? Very easy guys, just go back to the home screen, do like this, go back one step, Samsung Daily, okay, now go back, boom, removed, all right? Guys, 10 tips to really make the best out of your phones. I really hope that you like this type of content. If that's the case, let me know. If you have any questions, hit me up into the comments down below or in our Telegram channel. Guys, please stay safe and we're gonna catch up in one of my next video. You know what follows, VST over and bye.